here you go. It's the CV Life Bear Power 5x25x50 by by first focal plane scope. First of all, Bear Power, heck yeah, great name. So as the name implies, it has magnification range from 5 to 25x, a 50 millimeter objective. The ocular bell, if you're curious, has a lens of 35 millimeters. This is a 30 millimeter main tube with an elevation adjustment range of plus or minus 40 MOA and a windage adjustment range of plus or minus 30 MOA. A parallax adjustment from 10 yards to infinity. The eye relief on this scope is 3.75 inches. It is waterproof, shockproof, and it is 14 inches long. So I'll be showing the reticle from video here in a minute, but basically here's what it looks like. It is an MOA, so that can kind of explain the hash marks and the holdovers. What does it come with? Well, it comes with two batteries. I've already got one in there for the illumination. A little Allen wrench to adjust your zero stop. Comes with the bigger wrench for your rings, and it has extra screws. A cleaning cloth. Actually comes with scope caps, which is cool. And its own rings, and a sunshade. These scope caps are not the kind that bend all the way down flat, but still the fact that it comes with them is pretty cool in my opinion. The whole point of a scope cap is just to keep dust off your lenses. Nothing wrong with these rings at all. You can see they're for a Picatinny rail. I really do like the fact that they have two lugs. So those lugs are going to go in between your Picatinny rail grooves. And most rings are going to have one. But this has two lugs. I really do like that. Now these rings that come with it are on the high side, which is good to be you know universal. So it's going to work with any gun basically. But if you're like me and you like to lower the scope down as far as possible, close to the gun, these could be a little high for you. But it's always awesome when it comes with its own rings. Now it also comes with this throw lever, which helps you run your magnification, of course. That can come off if you want to take it off. Of course, here's your fast focus eyepiece. Point that up toward the blue sky and get your crosshairs as focused as possible. Then that's set for your eyes. Now on the elevation turret, you don't have to do anything other than just turn it. You can hear the audible clicks. And watch this. It has that zero stop in it. Once you get this sighted in, you just there's three set screws. You loosen up, pull this off, get it back to zero, and then you're zeroed. On your windage, it actually pulls out. So see how it goes in and out? You pull it out, then you can adjust it either way. And then just simply push it back in. And on this one, you'll simply take this Flat, you'll take a flathead screwdriver or a penny or something and take this off, turn it back to zero, put it back on, and then you're zero. Of course, here are your six brightness settings. You have one off, two off, all the way to six on your illumination. Obviously, your battery goes there. Here is your parallax, all the way down to 10 yards and up to infinity. I usually keep it at 100 because that's usually where I shoot at. Aesthetically, this is a pleasing scope. I know that that shouldn't mean anything. It shouldn't be that big of a deal, but to me it is. I just can't have an ugly scope on a gun. <laughs> and so I'm pretty happy with it. Here's the Arkin EPL-4. Now this is a 4x16x44. So it's going to be a little bit smaller. But you can tell they're very similarly designed. You know, they are kind of a dual purpose scope. Probably geared more toward target shooting with being first focal plane, but definitely you can hunt with them too. My whole thing is you can hunt with the first focal plane if it has elimination because with the first focal plane when you have your magnification down toward the bottom range as your reticle it's very very small not really usable but if you have illumination and especially if you can crank it up to like six power on this one it can definitely work even during the day 
A first focal plane scope can definitely be used for hunting if it has illumination, which this one does. But this is going to be an all-purpose scope, and it will be great for long-range target shooting. Or just any target shooting, really. The fact that it goes down to 10 parallax, it would be good for any kind of target shooting at any range, really. All right, so I've got the scope mounted up here. You can see what it looks like. It's actually a pretty good-looking scope. So these are the rings that come with it, these CV Life rings. They're a little high. Even for this 50 millimeter objective, it's a little high. So I'd probably get rings that were a little bit lower, but nothing wrong with these rings. I'm going to put on the lens covers and the throw lever. There you see it with the lens covers and the throw lever that come with it. It's nice that they included that. So just as an example, these are more the height rings I would go with. Still get a clearance, but not be so high. It is nice that the CV Life scope comes with its own rings, but that's probably more what I would go with if I was going to keep this mounted to my rifle, which I might. As I'm concerned that I'm going to talk about here in a second, but I want, to, I want to talk about the pros first. First of all, I showed you all that it comes with. I showed you, you know, all of its features. It really is packed full of features for the amount of money you're spending. Now the three set screws that I used to take that off are the same set screws that are on this zero stop. So just get your instructions out and read the steps. It's also online on how to do this, but you're simply going to loosen those screws, get your zero stop set where you want it and then tighten it back up. Really easy. I can remember a few years ago when things like side parallax, zero stops, illumination was like big time extra features that added hundreds of dollars. Same with first focal plane. That would add hundreds of dollars to your scope. And the fact that this one has all of it for this price is quite amazing. Now what's the con here? Well, I'm gonna read this warranty information. In order to ensure that you get CV Life high quality service and avoid your hassle, every customer who purchases a scope will get an activated one year warranty service provided by CV Life. But the warranty does not include loss, theft, intentional damage, or minor blemishes that do not affect the functionality of the product. If you have any product problem, you can contact our customer service on Amazon and we will solve it for your pleasant shopping experience. So, the good side, I guess, of that is that, you know, if you get your scope and there's something fundamentally wrong with its function, they will replace it up to one year. Bad thing is it's a one year warranty and a lot of scopes nowadays have lifetime warranties, some limited lifetime warranties, some full on, I don't care what happens, it's transferable and everything, lifetime warranty. But now to be fair to CV Life, if they gave you a warranty like that, they're going to have to double the price with all these features that they've given you. And so yeah, you might look at a loophole scope that has you know a third of these features but yet cost three times as much more than likely it's because of that warranty and so if you're looking for a lifetime warranty this is a big con as far as i'm concerned but if you're not focused on a lifetime warranty and you're okay with just a one-year warranty it's going to be hard to find a scope that offers you more features at such a price than this so i definitely recommend it as long as you understand that it does not have a very good warranty as far as I'm concerned, its warranty is only a year. If you're wanting a, a first focal plane, target shooting scope slash dual purpose scope with illumination, side parallax, good tactile turrets, this is hard to beat. You're getting a ton of features for a very low price. So if you're like me most of the time and you're on a budget, you're just trying to you know get the best bang for your buck as you can. 
This is a great option. It really is. Let me know what you think. Have you used this scope before? What's your thoughts on it? A high value scope for sure. A best buy, I would say. Check it out. There will be a link in the description below to purchase this scope. Hopefully you have a great day. Until next time, take care. Hey guys, thank you for watching the video. If you liked it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. More content like this coming out. Hope you have a wonderful day and until next time, take care.